In this video, I'm gonna show you a quick way to invert LED fixtures in your patch so that you don't really have to worry about rearranging pixels in layout view or restoring groups. It's just a real simple way to unflip a fixture that was flipped when it was put on the rig. I'll show you how to do it. Today, our rig is comprised of a couple different LED strips and one type of the LED strips is a five chan or excuse me, a five cell fixture. The other is an eight cell and all the five cells have been mounted inverted on the truss. Uh, anyways, we're just about done setting everything up and I wanted to show you how I can fix this because right now in my layout view, if I select all of my linear fixtures on this truss, if I next through everything, everything looks correct on my layout view. But if you notice, all of the five pixel LED strips are backwards as I'm nexting through them. And they're all like that. I went through the whole rig and nexted through everything and they're all hung upside down, which is fine because you can fix that with one trick in the fixture types menu. So let's do that. So we're gonna pop into setup. We're gonna go to patch and fixture schedule and we will choose fixture types. Now from here, we will import a duplicate fixture of the ones that we want to Im invert, right? Because we just want to virtually flip the DMX addresses. That's all we're doing. We want to say that, you know, if the first pixel is at address one and the last pixel is at address 19, we want to swap that so that pixel one thinks it starts at address 19 and pixel five starts at one or whatever, I'll show you. So we'll go to import and we will search for our fixture that we want to invert. In this case, it is the QPix strip try with the DMX 15 uh, footprint of 15 and five instances, five cells. We will import that. And now I'm just going to rename this as QPix strip try invert in all caps. That way I can know whenever I use this fixture in the future, this is the inverted fixture. And now we're gonna go in and edit the cells by selecting the fixture, hitting edit, and we'll go over to instance manager. And here we can see our five RGB clusters that are patched within this fixture. And all I'm gonna do is I'm going to invert these. So pixel five starts at 13, pixel one starts at one. We're just gonna swap those from you know first to last. <laughs> so uh, address one or cluster one is actually gonna be 13. Number two is gonna become 10. Seven is gonna remain the same. So now I've just gone ahead and inverted all of those module instances. And now we're going to go through our trusses here and replace all of the fixture types that say QPix tri strip try. We're gonna replace those with the inverted version. So we'll highlight all of our QPix strip tries. We will scroll down to our newly made QPix strip try invert fixture. So we've exited the patch and now if we select our fixtures in the same order that we did before, they all highlight on our rig. And as I next through them, our inverted trick allowed us to switch all of those pixels without having to go in and either flip the fixtures physically or do everything in layout view and rearrange pixels in there because that would be super time consuming. And that's just one of my tricks to make sure that all of my effects, all of my color stuff just works really well when I get on site because I can simply identify which fixtures are flipped and replace those fixture IDs with my new inverted fixture type that I just made. So I hope you found this information useful. Maybe you can use it on your own shows out there. Remember to keep in touch by checking out my Instagram, following me on Snapchat. All that information is down below in the description. Really appreciate you watching the video and I'll see you in the next one.